Hi, pastoral intern Steph here with a word from the heart of hope. So I was thinking, uh, there's a lot of expectations placed on each of us every day. Like I have expectations for my spouse. I have expectations for my kids. I have expectations from my spouse and my kids. You know, we have all of us. We place expectations on other people and other people place expectations on us. And sometimes it's hard to know what those things are. And it made me really glad that I know what God expects of me. We find it like throughout the Bible. Of course, God expects us to love him and love others. But also specifically in Micah 6, 8, God says, I require of you to act justly, to love mercy, and to walk humbly with him. So I'm just going to focus on the walking humbly part for just a second. Uh, that walk humbly. So I have this problem sometimes where I think I know what is right. I mean, I have that problem a lot. <laughs> so I don't always defer to someone else or put my pride aside. And I don't always do that with God either. And if you're anything like me, that walking humbly part is hard. And actually the loving mercy and the acting justly would probably just come easier if we would walk humbly. <laughs> so the next time you feel like you have expectations placed on you or you are placing expectations on someone else, take a moment, pause and pray and ask God, how you should move forward humbly, like putting your pride aside and saying, what, what is God's best for you in that situation? What would he ask of you? What does mercy look like in that moment? Because we can always turn to God in prayer and ask him what he wants from us, what he expects of us. But he tells us plainly in scripture, he requires of you to act justly to love mercy and to walk humbly with him. I hope this has been encouraging. Have a wonderful weekend.